Okay, here we have a problem off the AP Calculus exam. What is this limit right here? And here's our choices. 1, square root 2 over 2, 0, negative 1. And then I've written here, does not exist. So this just stands for the limit does not exist. And on the exam, they would write that out. They wouldn't use this abbreviation. I'm just using it here. Well, the way to work this problem, and the quickest way to do it, and I think the way they want you to do it, is to recognize that this is the limit um, formula for the derivative. So it's the really definition of the derivative. It's this. It's the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all divided by h for this function right here, cosine. So it looks, it has this form to it right here, and that's what you want to recognize. And this right here, this formula right here, is the definition of the derivative, f prime, evaluated at x equal a. So this expression right here, it matches this expression where f of x is equal to cosine x. So that's what this is right here. This expression right here matches this expression for f of x equal cosine x, and this expression comes about out to be the derivative. So if f of x is cosine x, f prime of x is negative sine x, and the thing we're after is f prime of 3 pi over 2, which is negative sine 3 pi over 2. So when you come into a situation like this, you want to be able to graph one complete cycle of the sine curve very quickly. So I'll just do that. Let's put in pi, 2 pi. My sine curve will look like this. Goes up to 1, down to negative 1. And then I can put in right here, pi over 2, halfway between those two. And then 3 pi over 2 right here. And so you can see at 3 pi over 2, okay, my sine comes out to be negative 1. So this is negative, negative 1, which is equal to 1. And that gives us our answer of A equal 1. So that's the quickest way to do that problem is to recognize that this limit right here is the definition of the derivative. It has this form right here, which is F prime of A. So it's that definition for f of x equal cosine x. Now I differentiate, very easy to do, negative sine x, and then realize that I want to evaluate that at 3 pi over 2. Now if you look at this problem and think maybe it's a trig problem where I'm going to have to expand this cosine 3 pi over 2 plus h using one of those formulas like cosine 3 pi over 2 cosine h minus sine 3 pi over 2 sine h minus cosine 3 pi over 2, so on and so forth, all divided by h, and try to take that limit, you're going to run into problems. Um, you will maybe be able to do it and get the correct answer, but you have more things to evaluate right here. It takes more time to write that out, and you're going to end up here with a limit and in the end of sine h over h as h goes to 0. That's one of those indeterminate forms. You may not get that part right. So you can still get the right answer this way, but it's going to take you a little longer and give you more chances to make a mistake. The idea is that you recognize this as the definition of the derivative. So that definition, that is important. You're going to find that on the AP Calculus exam. When you look at this problem, you think it's a tricky problem? No, not really. I mean, this is really obviously the definition of the derivative, and it's not some obscure function. It's just the function cosine x, something that you know how to um, find the derivative of very easily, and they're asking you to evaluate it at some nice point here, 3 pi over 2. So it should be able to get that right off the graph. So very straightforward problem, but a problem where you could start off in the wrong direction and waste a little bit of time on the exam. So what's the point of this? You really do need to know that definition for the derivative.